welcome to Indigo Wings Intuitive, I'm Tina and uh, I'm going to do a pregnancy reading so it's um, if I'm going to be pregnant soon or later. So we're going to see, um, try and see what we get from this and I've got three piles so this is pile one, pile two and pile three. So for pile one we have a little key with a diamantic crystal purple. For pile two we have a little normate key and for, that's pile two. Pile two we have this, pile three we have the key there. So all different keys but pile one, two or three. Take a breath in and feel which, um, which you're drawn to, which pile you're drawn to and we will get on with pile one. Okay, let's see. So that's what cards we've got, because I've already shuffled them. So we've got strength, lighten your load, blessed change, we have evolution, and very soon. So, I'm also going to do some charms as well. Um, and what I will say is this is for a broad amount of people, so take what resonates and leave the rest. And also know that, you know, nothing is ever set in stone with any reading, so you can um, change any outcomes that uh, come in. Um, okay, so we've got, it's looking really, really good for this power power one. And we have strength, so this feels like, you know, that you will, you need to build up, uh, make sure that you're nurturing yourself, good health. Um, vitamins is what I've heard, so maybe you want to take some prenatal vitamins, folic acid, that type of things. I'm also getting multiples here, so I'm getting either, I'm getting twins, um, and this is a big transformation, but I'm getting that you will need your strength, so it's perhaps some of you will... Um, need that strength throughout pregnancy you need that strength to after pregnancy especially if you've happened to have um if you're having multiples but it's that now is the time to make sure that you are looking after yourself are you taking the walks having a little exercise taking some fresh air eating the right things for yourself to build up the strength for you and your baby okay blessed change there so we've got major change life change brings you great blessings she's upside down but she's smiling so you know children having babies can actually if you've not had one before um, and if you have then you know that they can literally turn yourself upside down but it's with a lot of love that they do that with okay lighten your load is a feeling like don't take everything on yourself she's got the world on her back but she has the light in front of her, so she's got some help that she can reach out to. So make sure that you are keeping contact with those that will help you. Um, perhaps if you end up being, if you're single, or um, feel like you know that you're going to take on a lot more than your partner's going to do, make sure that you are um, reaching out um, and getting um, help. Don't sit there and think that you've got to do it all yourself and that you're not getting the help. Reach out, lighten your load. Evolution, so this is transformation. This is, oh, it's like this baby would bring in this whole new level to you of uh, evolution and, and lighten and bring you. The, um, I've got star seeds, so it's perhaps that this child is, the, you know, the next generation of um, a light worker or people that will bring light to the world so that's what the feeling evolution so transformation there um, and I've asked uh, you know very soon so that's really soon coming in quick um, so be prepared so it's definitely a yes they coming in very soon so keep really optimistic let's have some charm oh. so don't be afraid of that that means um, we are lit ending a cycle we are getting rid of cycles think of the tarot card the death card where one cycle ends something ends so something's the begin so let go it also kind of feels like it relates to this light in your load so make sure that you're still feeling like you know you're reaching out but this is the end of a cycle gone 
and you are starting something new, starting a new beginning, bringing in these blessed changes, bringing in this um, evolution and transformation energy, manifestation coming in and we are end of something, something's going away. You have the fertility goddess, so that is super, but this is a really powerful, this power wand, I think definitely a baby is coming to you very, very soon. We have the fertility goddess coming in and blessing you. We have a um, the shell, which is blue, so it's possible that there's a little boy on the way, um, or twin boys, or it, there's not, we've got the blue. Um, we also have the purple. So the purple is obviously it's a mix of um, red and blue. That's a sign of um, it's possibly one boy, one girl, or um, back to back, back babies. So you have uh, a boy, then a girl. Um, but there's definitely energy of a pregnancy, a birth, a baby here in Power One. Most certainly there is, really strongly. Okay, um, take what resonates and leave the rest. And many, many blessings to you. Um, for your future. Okay, and I'll move on to pile two. Alright, let's put those charms away. So we have pile two. Okay, I see lots of them. This one I think brought out loads of cards more than the other ones. So we have um, life purpose, watch your thoughts, synchronicity, worthy, stay positive and optimistic. I just heard that from spirit, so patience. And these cards were divine timing, reach for more, and month. So I feel like this isn't coming in quick. Um, it could, it there definitely is a, a feeling that it's there, but um, this feels like maybe um, a rainbow baby. So it, I mean, it won't resonate with everybody, I have to say. Um, so take what resonates, and also know that you can change. Uh, nothing is ever set in stone so you you know things energies change things change so know that things do but this feels like perhaps that you've maybe you've had a loss a miscarriage of some kind or you've struggled to get pregnant um, or you've been trying for quite some time and it's you know you're um, losing that um, faith in in it in it happening um, but I have to stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. So divine timings as well. So I know that it's, I hate it when spirit says patience to me. But trust me, when they come in and give you something and, you know, it will happen eventually. We do have the months card as well. So, I mean, obviously months can be um, from you know the next six months 12 months 24 months i don't see beyond 24 months to be honest with you because i've just heard them saying it not beyond 24 months so keep optimistic as well so we have patience i know you've got to have a lot of patience and those that one came out there feeling of watch your thoughts you know it's important to think about what you desire and not what you fear I know this is extremely hard when you're wanting a baby and it's not been happening and you've been trying for so long. I know from between my uh, eldest son and my the second one, my daughter, um, I tried two years before it happened. So I know the thoughts that go through your head and I know it's extremely hard um, feelings that you go through. But sometimes we just got to relax. They're the words, relax. Because I know that as soon as I relaxed into um the energy that you know it will happen eventually i got pregnant so you hear about those stories don't you of people going to adopt and then they get pregnant so it's trying to find your way of um relaxation relax the body um nurture the body take all the toxins away from the body um, give it the best chance it can um, to do it, you know, do what you want, bring your dreams into fruition. Worthy, it could be that you know, um, I know that I certainly felt like you know, why is it, you know, why is this not happening? Why can't I get pregnant? Why, you know, all these things go through your head, but know that you deserve, you know, you deserve uh, the little 
and baby to come and I do I mean I might get because I've got some charms so I might get something from there but I do get a baby girl from the energy at the moment um, so the synchronicity and I know I've worked this myself I said to um, I'm actually trying for a baby now myself um, and it's been I've been quite relaxed about it because um, I have four children so I'm not like on edge about it so I've been quite relaxed about it but then I did say to spirit if it's going to happen this is a sign I need you to give me so for instance I asked them to show me a black panther or a black cat and the next day a black cat walked um, across my path and um, panthers were showing up on the TV and, and all sorts of things so you know you can use use something and say give it to me as a sign okay so we have your prayers and questions are being answered by a synchronous I can never say the word synchrony gonna have to go synchronized events there you go <laughs> notice them in order and increase the flow so the more you acknowledge your signs the more you say thank you to your signs the more they start to flow in the more they say yes thank you and you're saying thank you back very very important this one watch your thoughts and watch stay optimistic that's the feeling i've got you have the key there this is the key and you're unlocking so there's something there perhaps that you've got to reach out to get advice um you know doctor's advice and and, and follow that that it could be um <coughs> excuse me it could be that you need to do some research and follow a very very natural way that your body um can get pregnant i know that um i'm vegetarian anyway um and i've been following um dairy free at the moment um so there are different ways that our body can naturally um, reduce the right hormones um, life purpose so it means you know that you feel like this child that you want is part of this circle that you need part of this soul group and um, part of your life purpose is perhaps to be a parent um, and you really need it do not spirit don't um, I did mention adoption before so there could be an option where you feel like you want to adopt a child again it could be that you end up with you know a pregnancy and an adopted child um i'm not saying you're not going to get pregnant it's you know there are definitely signs here that the baby a baby's coming in you just got to relax and have some patience let's see what the charms have <laughs> lots and lots of charms came out so yes, we have the fertility goddess came out and she came out in group one and actually I think only three charms came out for group one. So we have a few. Um, this one also came out for group one. It's not scary. It just means the end of a cycle. So it could be for you that it's the end of a cycle of it not happening and it's coming in. Um, you know, it's something really, really um, good happening. And we have the fertility we have trust and we have faith have faith that things are gonna you've got the two there so you have angels on your side you have angels coming in and helping you have trust that it's going to happen have faith um and the fertility goddess is there she's uh, you know ask for those blessings pray for those blessings um we have the baby's foot so a little baby's foot um think of this as the yeah definitely i've said it haven't i the end of a cycle we're leaving the end of the cycle and we're new in with new cycle so the, there's a baby's foot we also have this flower the sunflower which is another sign of um, abundance prosperity it's a sign of uh, fertility so you have two signs of fertility there three signs of fertility and made with love so the baby is coming from um, a relationship that is solid and is in love or you are in love um, with where you you know with your partner or if you're single then it's you know this baby is still um still loved and made with love because you love it um so definitely i would say the baby is more later than um sooner um okay so but don't give up it's definitely definitely there um, um i hope that uh, some of you could take that leave what 
that uh, doesn't resonate and take the rest and I shall be better next time I'll know with um I might this is my first um, pregnancy reading but I might do them monthly who knows okay I hope that helps some I'll see you next time so let's move on to pal three I have to say that I've done these pile three and this pile three so we have positive energy playtime light and knowledge and we also have so I'm going to do this now you'll notice if you watched any of the others I didn't but for some reason <laughs> oh within a year okay within a year so we've got with that one are we missing any cards? I don't know what's happened to pile 3. So it must be spirit having a mess around. And we are going to do the cards on screen. Because I did all the cards. Um, and then, then the... Oh, there you go. Then, for some reason, pile 3 has dropped down. And I... So we'll do it on screen. But all good. Pile 3. So there we go. Sometimes spirit do these things to me. Okay, so manifestation. You can manifest this baby into... Re remember, before I start, this is for um, a larger reading. So take what resonates, leave the rest, and things can change. Nothing is set in stone. Let's change the key because we've got that one. So we have positive energy. Surround yourself with pos pe pos people, situation, avoid... Anything negative. Um, like I've just said to Power 2 there, it's, it's a possibility, you know, that you need to make sure that you are, well, with any, any time that you're trying to get pregnant, then you need to make sure that you're taking the right precautions and you're being really, um, you're trying to be as healthy as you can. Um, but that's also for this group, it's like positive energy within yourself, within your mind, you know, do positive things, bring up the vibes. Um, that's the feeling of that. Bring up the vibes. And um, that's when we've got the playtime. Have fun. Don't be so rigid or, you know, let loose. Playtime. The dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestation. So you've got manifestation twice there. You can manifest this baby in um, with a positive energy. It's there. We have the, the girls playing with the dolphins. You know, the, the girl energy. So I think... Oh, I don't, yeah, we'll go with the, we'll see if any charms come out with um, the sex, but um, not everyone's had that. Knowledge, again, it's that having a, maybe it's that um, you are reading up everything that you need to know. I've just heard Spirit saying that, you know, you've been looking at baby book names or something. That doesn't resonate with everybody. That's just for maybe a few of you have already looked at names, picked out names. But that's also the feeling of um, knowledge in the fact that you are doing your research on something around pregnancy. Um, it's possibly that you know you're looking at fertility treatments and gaining knowledge, or you're gaining knowledge on how to bring up a baby, what they need to happen. I know that when I was pregnant, anytime I've been pregnant and I've had four kids, I've always been fascinated with their growth. So from week one, I would, you know, I've always been really fascinated by it, you know, each week. So it could be, you know, looking at books that way. Um, light, so really, really good, really positive energy this time. I would say um, we've got the card within a year, so it's not exactly um, uh, the f like immediate energy, but it's definitely um, coming in in 2021. Um, See what the charms have to say. Okay, what do we have? Okay, so again we've got the witch. So another, you know, you can you can manifest this, you can bring mana uh, magic to your life, you can manifest this baby, you can call it in. Um I wanna say her actually. Call her in. But um, that won't, you know, go for everybody. But it's feeling like you can call her in. 
use that magic, use the magic of the universe. Again, we've got the star, she's going to be a little star, or he's going to be a little star. We are looking in awe at the stars, we are feeling, you know, the gratitude, and uh, definitely light. So this baby's definitely coming in. The cat, magical being again, but also, um, it used to be saying, I know that my, um, my cousin, who was also a reader, when I was a kid, she would say that uh, if a cat sits on your lap, you're going to get pregnant. So <laughs> she always used to say, say that. Um, so there's the cat is a sign of uh, fertility. Um, it's also a sign that, you know, independence, making sure you're, you know, you're doing what you want in life. But in this instance, it's definitely a sign of pregnancy. We have the little teddy bear, so comfort coming in. Um, a little special, I don't know if this is baby clothes. I've just seen baby clothes. I don't know if somebody has already bought little baby clothes and that's like, you know, you've chosen the name, you've got the baby clothes, you've got a little teddy bear. We've got ourselves set up or we are bringing that as an our manifestation, buying our baby a little teddy bear and we are manifesting around that, that energy. But the teddy bear is definitely, it's comfort, it's inner child work, it's um, it's all those types of things. But we've got a little teddy bear and I'm seeing um, pink. So pink energy um, for a little girl. Okay, so I would say take what resonates and leave the rest. And... Um, many many blessings to you um, all of those that want to have a baby at this time okay i shall see you um next time if i do another reading uh, a pregnancy reading all right